So you know how to play Texas Hold'em. You understand the rules and hand rankings, but maybe your experience playing at a live poker table is lacking. And the last thing you want to do is sit down and make a fool of yourself. If you don't know the proper and sometimes subtle etiquette at a poker table, that's a surefire way your opponents will know that you're a beginner and is cause to put a target on your back. Rest assured, I'm here to share with you the top seven things not to do at a poker table so that you can feel more confident when sitting down to play a live game. Don't string bet. When making a raise in a poker game, unless you have verbally announced your raise amount, the rule requires you to set down your raise chips in one forward motion. You can't make a forward motion and set down a couple chips, then reach back into your stack for more chips and add them to your raise. This is called a string bet and is not allowed. The one nuance with this is that you can count out chips in front of or near your chip stack. This won't be considered a bet, but the moment you make an obvious forward motion with chips in your hand towards the center of the table and place the chips down, that is a binding bet or raise. You are allowed to hover your hand in the same spot and drop a couple chips and then drop a couple more, but the minute your hand retreats back, no more chips can be added. Don't splash the pot. Here's another betting no-no, and this one is a very rookie move. When making a bet, raise, or call and putting chips into the area of play, make sure wherever your chips land that they don't touch the chips in the main pot. This is called splashing the pot, and it's a big no-no. The reason being, of course, is that if your chips get mixed into the pot, it might be hard to tell which ones were yours and how much you bet, or exactly how much you raised. How many chips did you exactly put in? When your chips mix with the pot, it gets confusing. So always make sure that any chips you put in stay in front of you and don't mix with the others. It's the dealer's job to pull your chips into the pot after all betting action is complete. Don't fold before checking. If you're the first to act after the flop turn or river has come out, remember that you have the option to check. Also, if you're in later position and players ahead of you have checked, then this is an option for you. Maybe the flop comes out and you didn't connect with any of the cards on the board and you're eager to fold your bad hand. Don't be too quick to throw your cards into the muck. Instead, exercise the option to check and pass the betting action to the next player. I can't tell you how many times as a novice poker player I too quickly folded my nothing hand only to realize that I could have checked and if the players behind me also checked, I would have gotten to see a free card on the next street of the board and maybe make a pair or have a card come up that interested me. Pay attention and never fold your hand if you have the option to check. Even if you have the worst hand imaginable, folding your cards when you have the option to check is considered a novice move. In poker, you're allowed to get up and leave the table for as long as you'd like and basically whenever you'd like. The game will continue as if you were there and the dealer will deal you hands and automatically fold them for you if you're not in your seat. Of course, it's not advisable to stay away too long because you'll ultimately lose chips when the blinds come around to you. The dealer will take chips from your stack in order to pay the blinds and let me tell you, other players at the table love this kind of free money. So, although you are allowed to get up and walk away from the poker table, if you've been dealt a hand, do not get up and walk away before it's your turn to act. Always wait until the action comes around to you to fold your hand before leaving the table. The reason being is that when a hand is dealt to you, if you look at it and walk away before your turn, this is helpful information for the players acting ahead of you because you've prematurely told them that you're going to fold. So. Just make sure you're not in a hand if you want to walk away, and if the cards have been freshly dealt, be patient and wait until your turn to officially fold your hand, and then you can skedaddle. Don't talk about your cards. Different card rooms, casinos, and tournaments have different rules, and you should know what they are when sitting down to play, but across the board, it's pretty common that you're not allowed to disclose the contents of your live or mucked hand during a hand. In a home game, anything goes. But at an official tournament like the WSOP, you're not even allowed to say something like, I've got a big pair here, you should be careful. If there's action still pending, you shouldn't disclose any information about your hand. Additionally, if you're not one of the players actively in a hand, you definitely shouldn't say anything about the current hand taking place. Things like, you've got them, looks like a straight on board, there's still time to rebuy. Any talk that could influence players' action is a big no-no. Know the rules and keep your trap shut when it comes to talking about yours or others' cards during a hand. Don't hide your cards. There are many different ways you can arrange your two hole cards stacked on top of each other, side by side, with your hand resting on top, but make sure that they're visible and in view for other players to see. 
If you have a huge stack of chips, which hopefully you always do at the poker table, don't hide your cards behind them. The dealer and the players at the table need to visibly see your hand and see that you're still in the hand. So don't try to be tricky and try to hide them from view. Don't hide your big chips. Similar to the last tip, it's tempting to want to fool your opponents into thinking that you have less chips than you do. Maybe you can trick them into pushing their stack all in, only for them to realize that you had way more chips than it appeared. But this is a poker don't. You must keep your large denomination chips in full view. It's okay if they're placed at the bottom of a stack of chips, but if you have multiple stacks of chips, it's a no-no to hide your big chips from plain sight by placing them behind another stack. So there you have it. Seven things not to do at the poker table. Poker News has many more tip and tutorial videos, so scroll through the video gallery now and continue learning. I'm Tiffany Michelle, thanks for joining me.